There are some people who do not believe in legends. And these very people would never believe that sometimes, under special circumstances, even a chicken can become a great hero. And so it came that nobody paid any special attention to the birth of a small, nameless creature a long time ago far in the east, in a very dark and dangerous place, deep, deep underground. Are you the small chicken who lost his parents? You must feel very lonely. Come, let's do something together. Um... You're hesitating. Well, yes, the mines are dangerous, of course, and the guards are evil. But don't worry, they won't notice us. We're small and smart. Let's go. way. We need to get over the crates. Phew, that was close. This is the room. Lucky for us, they left the door open. Come, we'll check what they keep in there. I wonder what's in there. I've seen something like this before. Let's see if I can play it. Want to fight? Want to be a rebel, yes? I told you, General. When you look the other way for only a moment, they'll start making problems. You're the one responsible for security, Captain. If the Emperor hears of this, there will be consequences. Well, but uh, he doesn't have to hear about this. Uh, we simply treat him the same way as all other troublemakers and done, right? Well, well, of course. Those who cause trouble in the mines lose all their rights. And finally, their life. No! And now to you. So you like music? Yeah. 
Hey, you! Finally! After all these years! Can you hear me? Probably not. How should he? He would need to be a Shaolin to do that. But hey, I don't have anything else to do at the moment. Oh, well. Unbelievable! You can hear me? Only the old Shaolin masters were able to hear the spirits. You have much potential. I can help you to escape from the cave. To do that, however, you need to free me. Pick up one of those bones lying around. Use it to smash my cage. It is great to be free again. Even if I miss my body. Many thanks, young friend. We should hurry to get out of these caves. The screamers will gnaw on anything that looks remotely edible. I can protect you with my powers. Call upon me when you need my help. But be warned. Once my power has been drained, I will need some time to replenish it. The water shield will protect you for a short while. Beware, though. If it takes too much damage, it will collapse before it expires. Careful! The lava can be deadly. Yet, we have to cross it. Activate my power! Then I'll be able to protect you from the lava. But do hurry! The lava will quickly drain my power. I know you're exhausted, but don't give up now. We have almost reached the exit. Can this be? I just heard something. Oh, that one is still very young. And yet he made it all the way here. Maybe he is the... Hmm. Oh, did you practice the forbidden techniques again? Even though you've reached the second grade of Shaolin today, that does not entitle you to fight. I'm not tolerating combat training in my monastery, especially not on your day off. On the other hand, you didn't break anything in a whole week. And as a small reward, I'll give this back to you. My congratulations. And don't pester me again with the question why you are not allowed to train in a Shaolin monastery. You are well aware that we haven't done any sparring here since the day Master Chi Ken has left us. 
Under my administration, we dedicate ourselves to meditation and nothing else. No fighting. No ball games. No strolling. Nothing. Except today, on your day off. Um... Are you thinking about that girl from your childhood again? You should forget about her. She's on her own now. We are chickens. We can't meddle with the affairs of the great and powerful. It's about time you learn that. Hmm. Enjoy it. But don't you dare to break anything. Principal Lee still has an eye on you, and that's because you always cause trouble. Hey, listen! I think there's someone at your door. The weapon you found is a child in the mines. Principal Lee would be very, very angry if you carried it around without his permission. Oh, the weapon you found is a child in the mines. Principal Lee would be very, very angry Hello, hello, hello! I heard you received your second grade today. And someone must have been thinking of you. A delivery is waiting for you at the storehouse. Follow the vases to find the storehouse. You know, the things that are so much fun smashing. <laughs> Are you getting vertigo as well when crossing all these bridges? The trick is, just don't look down. Can you see the garden on that pinnacle over there? I wonder who created it, and how to get there.
We'll need to do some damage to get through here. It is time to light your fire. Time to enlighten you at last. Follow me. Come, come. The Forbidden Hall! Almost looks like in the old days. With the exception that someone turned it into a dusty storeroom. But we'll fix that in a minute. Use my powers to make some light. Quick! Light up two torches! Look around! This is the true history of this monastery. Once, the noble fighting art of the Shaolin was practiced here. The monks were brave and wise, and opposed the cruel emperor. That's how it used to be, and that's how it could be again. If a chicken could be found with the heart of a tiger! You want to go out into the world? To help? To protect? To find a lost love? Then you need to learn a few things. Listen and heed my words. Well then, what kind of splendid things did they teach you so far? Cooking? Cleaning? Plucking parsley? It's high time that you learn something useful. Go and find the old tablets of lore and bring them to me. This is one of the tablets. Hold it closer to the light. Oh no! What have you done, you clumsy fool? Now you'll never learn the secret techniques. <laughs> After a hundred years of imprisonment, a little joke was in order. <laughs> 
Any decent master can teach you the technique of focus just like that. You just have to become one with the liquid self of matter and time. Come on, it's not that difficult. There you go. And now bring me the second tablet. That shouldn't be so difficult now. Something is hidden inside the prayer wheel, but the wheel is spinning too fast to get it out. Oh. The Technique of Sequenced Attacks. By specially timed and coordinated attacks, you can synchronize impetus as well as traction and recoil forces, enabling you to, uh... Ah, oh, well, you're not going to get it anyway. Just attack several times in quick succession and try to find the rhythm. Then the strikes will become more powerful. Get going! Yes! <laughs> well done! Great! Watch out! That was awesome! What the? I knew you would cause trouble again. So many years I had an eye on you, and yet you still haven't understood a thing! Master Chi Ken left us after the Emperor's armies raised all the other monasteries. We are chickens! We don't fight. If there is danger, we run away, screaming in all directions. Is that clear? What you see in this hall is the past. And it will never return. Mm -mm. But you would rather fight, wouldn't you? Oh, just the thought of it gives me a severe headache. Let me remind you of our task. We take care of the poor children that get discarded from the mine like we did with you all those years ago. That's already more than enough for my blood pressure. Mm-hmm. Oh, no. I know that look in your eyes. You still want to find that girl. Well, I'm not going to support you in such a foolish task. The only one who could truly help you would be Master Chi Ken. So, if you want to descend into the Ghost Dragon Forest to search for the Master, who left us so that we would be safe, a fact that I'd like to point out again and again, then please, be my guest. But my blessing for this daft quest, I'll give you not. And I warn you, the Ghost Dragon Forest is a dangerous and cursed place. Oh, if only someone would actually listen to me. The Ghost Dragon Forest is a dangerous place, and nobody really knows if Master Chi Kin is still there. Now look at that! An old shrine of exchange! 
In the old days, traders would deposit items here, uh, which would be useful to warriors in need. You took what you required, and in turn, left money for the trader. I wonder if that still works. I think Principal Lee wouldn't mind now anymore. Help! I'm being attacked! Oh no! More of them! Many thanks for your help. I was peacefully traveling through the forest. 
when suddenly the cart bumped over a rock and a wheel fell off. Then these beasts came about. No idea what's gotten into them again and started chewing on the wheel, only to carry it off into the forest. Uh. Oh, no, no need to be afraid. I'm not one of the minions of the Emperor. I'm only an armadillo that is leading a life as a traveling salesman. Um... I don't think anyone lives around here. This forest belongs to a cruel dragon. Anyone can tell you that. <clears throat> uh... If you should stumble upon my wheel, I would appreciate it if you would bring it back. Then I could sell my goods again. No trespassing. Beware of the dangerous ghost dragon. What? If there were any ghost dragons around, we'd surely know. We should find out more about this ghost dragon. Let's see if we can find more information. Um... Look! There's a note attached to the signboard. Looks like ingredients for a sacrificial offering. Or for a noodle soup.
Thank <laughs> you. 
Now, George, let's start to train you in chatting up a girl. Robert is going to be the girl. Now, let's hear a good chat-up line. I don't want to chat up Robert. He's pug ugly. You will be ugly once I'm done with you. Mm -hmm. Oh, someone is coming. Right, then let's have lunch first. But afterwards, we'll continue. Hello, lunch. <laughs>
what a mess! This must be a place where offerings are given to the dragon. If you place something to eat on it, the dragon might come. Hello! You have found my wheel. Now I can travel and trade again. Here is a reward for you. Do you also want to trade? Hmm?
That does look tasty. That should attract the dragon. Oh, something's happening. Hold on, you strange little guy. No one wanders through this forest without the ghost dragon's blessing. Who are you? A friend? Or a foe? Hmm? We come with peaceful intentions, oh enormous wooden dragon head. A true friend first has to fulfill the prophecy of the master. The master waits for a heroine, and for a fool, and two dim bulbs. And you are certainly not a heroine. Oh my, you actually managed to be both the heroine and the fool. And I see you also brought the dim bulbs. Call us dim? Huh. Let's see how your wooden head likes a fire spell. Your path has been cleared. You really don't give up easily. She can, old warhorse. It's been a while. Master Bang, it is a pleasure to see you in good health and spirits. Although clad somewhat more scantily than I remember. Better scantily clad than patchy in the head, old bag of bones. Still the same fiery temper as in the old days. You are the first visitor I'm admitting since the henchmen of the Emperor are scouring the forest. Uh, you look as if you didn't get the part with the heroine. However, would you have preferred if I had been waiting for a sword swallower? Think about it. <laughs> um, we should continue our conversation inside. In the meantime... What's this about? I'm busy! Why? You're not doing anything. Ha! <laughs> I am thinking. I'm not surprised that you never heard of that. Um, there is a kind of a problem with the search for the artifact. What kind of problem? Apparently, there is a chicken loose in the forest attacking our scouts. Ridiculous. Your shadow warriors can't capture a chicken? Well, I wouldn't exactly use the word defeated. First you were afraid of dragons, and now it's chickens. All right, all right. All right, I see where this is heading. We will take care of it ourselves. Just pretend I wasn't here. Now, sod off and fetch me the girl that plays music. I want her to cheer me up. Long before our time, a terrible war devastated the land. The five Shaolin monasteries had risen up against their cruel emperor. It was a futile battle, but at that time, chickens believed they were strong and fierce creatures. Therefore, three of the five Shaolin masters were boasting with confidence, while Master Bang and Master Chicken were actually a bit worried. For their enemy was the Emperor, and he was said to be invincible. Nobody had ever defeated him. He attacked, and the onslaught was terrible.
Being quite optimistic about their chances, the chickens were actually able to hold their lines. Until the Emperor stepped in. Even the Shaolin aghast, Master Bang saw the fall of his companions. and called for revenge. But Chi Ken knew the battle was already lost, at least in this world. And so, he went for a trick. And this is how the episode ends. Now you can continue your quest.